Now is the point where you tell me what the hell we're doing here. Guess who's now the proud owner of this home, along with the 700 similar ones that make up this tiny town? Sean, if you say us, I'm going to punch you in the face. Budding Textiles. It's the last one they purchased. Why would Budding want a bunch of crappy houses on poison land? Here's a better question. What is the world's coolest truck doing here? Looks like a Decepticon. It's not a Decepticon, Gus. It's made in Fresno. Whatever it is, I highly suggest we do not touch it. Sean! Gus, the keys were already in the ignition. What was I supposed to do? Did not start it. Well, it's not that easy. Actually, it is. All right, you know, when Toby said that Roy Kessler was telling the truth, he didn't mean an abduction. He meant the lawsuit against Buddy. That makes no sense, Sean. Why would they intentionally spill chemicals? To get people to leave. What? In all the ridiculous science classes you've taken over the years, did you ever learn about hydrocarbons? Of course I did. They're organic compounds found mainly in crude oil. If there's a high percentage of them in the soil, does that mean that there's oil underneath? Not necessarily. You'd have to check using a machine that sends sonic vibrations into the earth, which helps open. I think we're in one of those machines! Why must you always touch stuff, Sean? Stop shaking, Sean. Oh. Gosh, I feel like a bobblehead. You look like an idiot. Come on, try it. I'm not doing that. Get in on the bed. I don't want it's to. It's fun. Fine. Dude, you look ridiculous. But think about it. It all makes sense. Budding figured out that this town is sitting on a gold mine. So what does he do? He orchestrates a chemical spill to drive everyone away. That way he wouldn't have to share any of the profits. Exactly, which I imagine dwarfs the cost of lawsuits and land purchases. And Kessel was onto all of this. Sort of freaks me out. Why? Because it makes me wonder what else he was telling the truth about. Well, boys, start talking. About what exactly? How about a story? Would you like to hear a story? Please. I always enjoy a good one. All right. Once upon a time, there was this greedy CEO. Think, uh, what, Stephen Lang? Esk. Anyway, he wanted to kill this lawyer because the lawyer was on the verge of ruining his evil master plan. But he couldn't because the lawyer had prepared a legitimate case against him. Not start. Please continue. He figured out that if he could make the lawyer look wacko, the case would be dismissed as some nutty conspiracy theory. But how? Ten years ago, Kessler claimed to have seen, you got it, a UFO. Light bulb. He would convince the lawyer he'd witnessed an abduction. See, he already had this fancy copter, so all he had to do was add some extra lighting, pump some Enya B sides through the sound system, and then figure out how to trip the electricity. He most likely used an EMP device. Oh, is that a pregnancy test? No, it doesn't make any sense, Gus. Would you just let me tell the story? EMP, not EPT. It produces an electrical pulse. Okay, you know what? There's a fine line between being knowledgeable and arrogant. Oh, enough. I'm on the edge of my seat here. Right, well, it all worked like a charm, with one exception. See, the young lawyer that he paid 500 Gs to to set up this guy had a change of heart once he came across the dismissed case file. But. It was still just a minor mishap for our CEO because he is a problem solver. I like his style. Yeah, and he was in the clear until he came across two young go-getters and they were on to everything. 
who he then proceeded to let go because they promised not to tell a soul. They swore, they swore, because that's, that's stronger than a promise. <laughs> <laughs> that's not gonna happen. It's, it's not? And to think, he only picked you up for trespassing. Whoops. Take him out back. Don't worry, I text my dad. Cops will be here. Nope. No. No. Who is it? Messenger service. Hey, I have a delivery for you to sign. Dennis? What's he doing here? I don't know. See some ID. Yeah, yeah, sure. And he spent the rest of his miserable life in jail. The end. Oh, my life. Oh. Dude, how did you find us? I closed Sean's cell phone earlier. I think I did some real damage to my premolars. It's okay, Dennis. You looked like a badass until you clocked yourself in the face. You needed this, man. Oh. You, hands in the air. Put those down. Put up down. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Put up, no, wait, wait. wait. He didn't need that. 